mountains down here, downtown Vancouver, right beside uh, St. Paul's Hospital. I'm going to go into my mailbox company and pick up my mail. They also printed me some, or printed some stickers for me. The last stickers that I had, they first printed, they uh, made a mistake, so they're, they reprinted some new ones. Then I'm going to head off up to Squamish, then maybe, then head from Squamish to Pemberton. And from Pemberton, I'll be heading towards uh, Penticton and Kelowna. Not sure exactly what route I'm going to take, but if you happen to live on that route, get a hold of me. Send me a comment or look for my email down below in the description and uh, maybe we can meet up. Anyway, I'm going to pick up some mail. I know there's some mail here and we're going to also get, uh, what do you call it, my stickers. I need my mail, 409. Woohoo! I got some stickers. Gus and the bus are in a plastic bag. That's what I was. Whoa! Look at that. I just dropped them all over the ground. I'm in Squamish. I'm on my way to the Okanagan. I have a tire that uh, won't hold air, it's got a puncture, so I took it, left it at OK Tire, they're going to put a plug in it I think, and uh, told me to come back in an hour, so I'm having a frosty at Wendy's. Wendy's is connected in the same building, or they share the same building with Tim Hortons. I think the frosty is better than coffee, or better than donuts. Because it is hot outside and this is going to cool me down. I'm going to, I drove straight up here because it's actually on that highway, it's hard to uh, stop. And the places I could stop at are very touristy. So I figured if I come directly up here, I'll be able to uh, show you some of the sights on the way from here to Pemberton. My first stop is Pemberton. I probably have a photo shoot there. If not, I'll head on up to, uh, anyway, I'll be heading up towards Kamloops and then down to Kelowna. Kelowna, I have uh, four or five photo shoots planned there this week. So, uh, I can show you around. It looks kind of Christmassy over there and there's my Frosty. I'll be back on in a few minutes after I get on the road. My tire's fixed. And while I was getting my tire fixed, I met this beautiful or handsome young man. How's it going? Um, Andy uh, from uh, Seattle area and I build camper vans. Oh, are you from Seattle? Yeah. I didn't know. Actually, we didn't talk about that yeah, in here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So he's building camper vans. This one he built for himself. And uh, I guess just you build custom units for everybody else, eh? Yeah, no, I do a little bit of everything. I can do complete bells like this. If you want to buy it, just already already completed. If you already have a, a van that you're building out, I can help you finish your build. Um, I also do design work online, so if you're just getting into things and you need somebody to, to draw it up in 3D on the computer, I can help with that too. Andy was in a hurry, so we had to make this short. Please look for his link in my description. That'll give you a chance to ask all the questions you want. So the cooktop here is all powered off of the solar array on top of the van. So all the cooking is electric. It's two induction burners. Um, and then there's a nice deep sink here with 40 gallons of water in the back. So you've got, you know. 40 gallons. Yeah, so, you know, about awesome. two weeks of water. If there's two people in here, it's, it's enough to last about two weeks. All the cabinets are custom made to go in the camper van. Um, these door poles in particular are just made with recycled leather. A lot of the materials on board are made with either reclaimed or recycled materials. 
Um, so those are the scraps that were going to get thrown away, and now they're some nice dwarf bulls. So, so people call you from all over North America and what, get drawings and plans and ideas from you? Or? Yeah, I do drawings and plans and designs remotely anywhere in the world really, but mostly here in the U.S. Um, and then as far as the builds go, I, can, I travel throughout the Northwest. So I'll go down to California, I'll go to Oregon, I'll go to Idaho and, and do builds, but for the most part I'm, I'm focused over there. Yeah, this is awesome. You do great work. Hardwood floor and a, and a, good, and uh, a super this fridge. This is the pull-out fridge. Oh, we got it locked up. Yeah. Boom. Oh, awesome. Two doors on top. Boom. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to send some people to your website. Do Very they go good. to their website or they go to Instagram? They can find me. The website's the best. It's just makervans.com. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Good to meet you. Very good. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. I've pulled over at the side of the highway at a small little rest stop called Green Lake in Whistler. This is the view that I'm getting and I'm about to enjoy a nice cold snack of, I don't know if you can see it well, blueberries and our blueberries and blueberry yogurt. So I'll be, after I finish this little snack, I'll be editing this uh, video. So when you see my stickers, uh, tell me. The water's green is it's a glacier fed lake. Those are the stickers I'm going to have for sale. I'm back on the road heading towards Pemberton. Pulled over at a very small pullout to see what I could see. Turns out it was a very steep cliff down to a very beautiful river. Almost didn't make it off the highway. Now I'm back on the road again. I'm in Pemberton. I finally got here. <laughs> finally, it's no big deal. I had to get uh, my tire repaired, which didn't turn out to be a repair. I had to get a new or a used tire because the hole that had ripped in the old tire was huge. Uh, anyway, this morning I picked up my stickers. Stickers are awesome, you saw them, they're all over the place now. And when I was there, this happened. These glasses you guys have all been telling me are awesome, broke. So, I'm not, look. Just to please a few people, I'm not going to do my videos like this. However, I got a package this morning. Hmm. What was in that? Well, it was a nice letter from a nice man who sent me glasses. Like this. These are polarized, polaroid, polarized 
sunglasses. And they come in a package, like it's their own little pouch container guy. So, not only did I get a pair, I got two pairs. And now, these are, wow, these are, looking at the screen through these is cool. Because at the moment, the screen's all pink, and when I come down here, it's all green. Because they're polarized. I guess that's a polarizing effect. Yeah, it is. So, they have wooden hand, wooden, uh, what do you call them? Ear guards or whatever you call them? I, what do you call this thing that goes out here? Uh, these are glasses. These are eyeglasses. They're sunglasses. What are those? <laughs> Does anybody know? If you know what that is, please tell me. There's a lens. There's a frame. And what are these things called? That's strange that I might remember all those parts and pieces, but not everything. Anyway, from now on, you're going to be seeing me like this. Cool Gus in cool sunglasses instead of those silly white ones. All the other sunglasses you've seen me wear in our sunglasses I found on the beach. I only put them on because that way you can't see my eyes and you can't see what I'm looking at. And if you've watched a lot, enough of my videos, I look all over the place. Anyway, so I got a nice little letter. Got to cover up the who from. I got a nice little letter and uh, a, a small donation for my gas fund. And I'm going to put a. I, this is it. Got geez, what is it? it came from Arthur. And I'm going to put a link. He says he sells sunglasses. If I can find a link, he didn't give it to me. But if I can find a link to his uh, website or something like that, so you can get a hold of him and maybe find out how much these cost, go pick them up. They actually work really well. I'm quite surprised because I wore them all the way up here from, from uh, Vancouver. And I told them, I, or I mean, at least I've said on all my videos that I lose glasses. Now I got another one just in case I've lost them. So I ought to also put a link to Andy, the van builder. Uh, go and look at his website. He's a really nice guy, works in Seattle, probably can do builds anywhere on the West Coast, maybe even in Canada. Or and you could, anyone could take the vehicle to him and he'll build it. That's actually what happens frequently, he said. But uh, go to his website, have a look at what, what he's doing, and uh, tell him I sent you. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. And I'm going to be carrying on up the road now. My photo shoot here couldn't work out because the model can't find a babysitter. So I'm going to start heading up the road towards Lillooet. Have a good night.